It is dark, so dark that not a single photon of light will penetrate your world for the duration of your entire lifetime. You will not lay eyes on anything, for without light and without eyes, there is nothing for you to see. Your teeth are full of dirt. You are built to dig miles and miles of tunnels and chambers underground. You are a member of the only animal species whose social structure resembles that of honeybees with workers, drones, and even a queen. Your queen lives deep within the dark recesses of the colony in the nuptial chamber, where she, fat and white, extrudes naked mole rat after naked mole rat, impregnated by her loyal hair of males. Ever excavating the earth, you look for food. You eat tubers, the starchy roots of the vegetation soaking in the African sunshine above. One tuber can feed your whole colony for for the last several months, there have been no tumors, and the colony is starving. You've been eating your own excrement for several weeks now, recycling it through your gut so many times that it's practically sterile ash. Day 101. Digging continues. We haven't had a tuber in more than three months. The colony is lethargic, conserving resources. Other than digging, the workers sit still, falling into and out of torpidity. I had a strange dream today as my metabolism ground to a peaceful and frozen pace. I was in a large cavern. There were mole rats everywhere, gathered around a large banquet table. On the table were candelabras, cut glass, crimson wine goblets, china dishes, and fine silverware. Giant platters of tubers in a strange variety I've never seen before were being served. The mole rats were gorging. They were growing fatter and fatter, so fat that their bulk started pressing against the cavern walls. Then with a loud crack, the cavern split, and light from the surface came pouring in. The mole rats squinted their vestigial eyes. The yellow light burned them. Then they realized that they could see each other. Then I woke up. Day 103. Last night, the colony voted to begin digging in a new direction. It's a direction we've never gone in before. In fact, we've avoided digging that way. But since we haven't had any food in so long, things are getting desperate. We're going to start digging towards the west, where there is a good possibility that there could be another naked mole rat colony. If we come into contact with the western mole rats, war is assured. We haven't warred in many years, since long before I was even a pup, I'm told. I'm afraid of war, but the colony is starving. Two mole rats died in the last few days, and our colony is down to just 50 of us. I helped take the corpses to the burial chamber. We push the bodies back and then pack dirt against them. Untold numbers of dead mole rats are packed behind those walls. It even contains the bones of my parents, but I tried to not dwell on them. I'm feeling weak and vulnerable, emotionally. I'm 
trying to keep it together. Things are fair. Day 110. I was in the toilet chamber today rolling around in the colony urine and feces to reapply the group scent when I overheard several mole rats discussing the likelihood of finding fresh tubers towards the west. They seem to think the queen is crazy for initiating this change in digging direction, and that she may be ovulating or perhaps carrying a particularly large litter. Or maybe she's just a whacked out starving bitch. I don't know. All I know is that I'm hungry enough to risk possible warfare if it means finding some food. I cannot cope with having to eat my own shit anymore. There is nothing digestible left, and unfortunately, I'm a picky eater and refuse to eat anything but my own brand. We will be coming very close to the Western Colony tomorrow. I've bargained for a sweet position as sweeper towards the surface, so I won't see any actual digging myself. Thank God, my ulcers couldn't take that kind of stress. Day 112. The colony was fraught with fear today. We were so close to the Western group that we could hear them talking. The queen ordered a stop in working so she could maneuver her distended body to the front of the tunnel to try to make out what they were saying. Since I was nowhere near the front of the tunnel, I could only write down what I heard, which was that the western colony is flush with tubers, and that their queen's harem of males are all fat, lazy shit who barely even bother to pay an interest in her. But she can't get rid of them since they're her first cousin, something about family inheritance or something. Our queen's males are robust and attentive as they should be. Thank God I'm not in the Western Colony, where their males are mere shadows of what a mole rat hair of male should be. Day 114. The inevitable has happened. We are at war with the Western Colony. We were digging one of our larger exploratory tunnels, but the ceiling collapsed and we broke through into one of the other mole rats' chambers. Luckily, no one was there at the time, and we were able to plan a coordinated attack. It seemed we were in their toilet chamber, so we were able to camouflage ourselves in the enemy's excrement. They never saw us coming. Our first objective was to kill the queen. A scout and a group of ten rats were sent to locate her. The rest of us huddled near the breach, waiting to be called into action. From what I have heard, the queen was killed easily, as her harem of males fled upon realization that they were under attack. They were killed as well. Then that the Western Colony mustered a weak defense. I did not participate directly in any of the battles. I was asked to be placed on lookout duty, and thank God I was granted this request. The smell of the blood makes me nauseous. Tomorrow we remove the corpses and enlarge our domain to include the new territory. The Western mole rats were indeed flush with tubers. They must have hit a rich vein, for one of their larger chambers was filled with them. Our rats are refreshed. The new tubers ensure our survival for many years. I'm glad the war came and went quickly. Day 118. I had another dream today. We were at war again, but this time I was fighting it before. We had reached the Queen's chamber, and there she lay pushing out milky white sightless pups one after the other. Except the pups were some sort of monstrous larva. I picked one up in my drawers and crushed it with my teeth. Blood coursed down my neck. Soon I was drowning in an underground cavern of blood. I rose closer to the ceiling and started digging towards the surface. When I broke through, it was dark. I believe it is what they call night. I was able to focus my eye spots to some degree on the sky there hung a giant glowing white brown tube, the type I've never seen before, and I began furiously digging towards it. Then I woke up. Naked ball rat, 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 naked ball